Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. We're going to talk about CBDCs, a digital dollar. This is something I wanted to talk about over the weekend, but I ran out of time. So CTO David Schwartz contributed another perspective, questioning whether people understand that the anticipation of a declining dollar value incentivizes spending. Schwartz's thesis suggests that the knowledge of a currency's future depreciation may impact consumer behavior, encouraging spending as individuals seek to utilize their money before its value diminishes. You know, right now I see people spending money I mean, they're spending money they don't even have. And when you talk to people outside of crypto and you talk to them about the U.S. dollar, they all seem to say the same thing. What does it really matter? The days of the dollar are coming to an end. So people understand it. And, you know, as a crypto investor right away, I tell them maybe you want to get invested in crypto before it's too late, before time runs out. But for some reason, they don't see the value in crypto at all. But yet they're still so beholden to that U.S. dollar, but they're spending more than they actually have. It doesn't make sense. But most people realize that the U.S. dollar is pretty much done. Ripple does an enormous amount of regulatory education and engagement. Now take a listen to what David says here about privacy. So we have a tremendous opportunity to improve security and privacy as well. Public key encryption can be used for both. Um, if we want to, and we could also build dystopian systems that, you know, don't provide any privacy for anybody. And if users are willing to sacrifice privacy, businesses are willing to let them. Uh, I think we've started to see government pushback on that, particularly from the EU recently. Um, and I think we're going to need to strike a balance. I think you could imagine a, a dystopian world where nobody has any financial privacy at all. And you could imagine a world, you know, where, where we don't have those problems. And I think regulators definitely do play a role. And I think companies play a role as well. I think what we need is laws in place around digital money. Because digital money is definitely coming. The, money, the future of money is digital. Ripple and XRP have made it possible to move money at the speed of light, free and efficiently. Information moves at the speed of light. Now money will do the same thing. So that's what everybody wants. They want cross-border payments to be fast, cheap, and secure. But nobody really talks about privacy. Now, David Schwartz just talked about it. And he knows that's something that most people would want once we transition into, like, let's say, a digital dollar. Because I do believe that time is coming. But however... Most of these governments never talk about that or they do talk about it and then it just kind of goes away. Remember when we seen bills around privacy and CBDCs last year? What happened to that? It stopped being talked about. Then this is what you're left with. And this is why digital currency and digital money in a country is going to be such a tough sell because more and more people are waking up to what this is all about. Shaping a Great Reset, World Economic Forum and UN Controls Distribution of Goods, Transition of One World to Another, End of Nation States and Civil Rights, To Move from a Society of Production and Consumption, You'll Own Nothing, To a Society Built on Caring and Sharing, and Be Happy. With Digital ID, CBDC, mediated by AI plus 24-7 global surveillance. That's what people are waking up to now. They're starting to realize a CBDC might not be such a good thing. But when your government's telling you, oh, well, we'll give you this and we'll give you that. And we're trying to cut down fees and make your life better. People will sign on to it time and time again. Palau satisfied with its Ripple-powered CBDC pilot program. Now, I read through this entire article, and nowhere do they talk about privacy, and that's what I'm talking about. We need a privacy law set up in front of CBDCs, or no one's going to want to utilize it. 
implementation of the digital dollar social credit score system. The housing market and stock market will crash purposely just before the so-called election of 2024. Now, a lot of people are saying we're going to see some catastrophic event happen before the 2024 election. Some people are saying there's not even going to be a 2024 election. What are your thoughts on that? Put it in the comment section down below. In all probability, RFK is the most likely to sign the anti-CBDC pledge. Who will actually be in the general election? The rest of these people have proven to be unprincipled thus far. And now you could sign the presidential candidate anti-CBDC pledge right here. And it's very simple. And I think a lot of people want to know who's in favor of a CBDC and who isn't. And I know that's going to be talked about as well in the 2024 elections. You're going to have crypto on the ballot. You're going to have, you know, CBDCs on the ballot. Most likely AI is even going to be talked about it's going to be an exciting time to watch all this play out but this is also going to be on the ballot democrats it's time to fully embrace universal basic income ahead of the 2024 election we have tons of data from pilot studies we know direct cash payments are very popular with voters ai is accelerating and we have leaders like barack obama enthusiastically endorsing ubi now, people want to get this UBI, universal basic income, but they don't understand what it comes with. It's going to come with the social credit score. You're not going to get UBI with the current financial system. This country's in a ton of debt. They don't have money to be giving out to every single citizen. That will come with the new financial system and CBDCs. And I think that could be why we will see the rise of a CBDC ahead of the 2024 election. But that's just my opinion. U.S. Senators unite against crypto terrorism funding with the Terrorism Financial Financing Prevention Act responding to the recent Hamas attacks. So now they unite for this crypto bill. But they can't unite for anything else. And I think it's because both sides want to push for a CBDC. They want to continue to crush crypto because crypto challenges a CBDC. People will go to whatever keeps them away from a CBDC. And you know, right now, XRP could already fix the current financial system, but that's not what they want. SEC issues new investor warning over crypto assets. And that's why the SEC is out there giving you warnings about fraud and rug pulls because they don't want new investors coming into crypto. At the same time, they want to shake me and you out of crypto. They don't want us holding crypto. And that's the direction they're going in right now. Then there's this. Sure seems like a lot of work from the SEC just to say no. More and more likely to get the Bitcoin ETF approved in January. Honestly, I don't think this is going to get approved in January. First off, they're not going to tell you when it's going to happen because everybody would be dumping their money in the night before. I think they're going to continue to delay this as well. You got to remember, SEC is working for the big banks. Some politicians are also working with the big banks. They want to stop crypto dead in its tracks. And the big banks definitely don't want to see XRP succeed. Now, this is why you could see a CBDC coming. Joe Biden, fake job report, is pumping the stock market market u.s national debt 33.8 trillion dollars interest over 135 million dollars an hour now the job report's an absolute joke and most of you already know that and anytime they say people are out there working yeah people are working two and three jobs just to make ends meet now People even stop paying credit cards. People are cashing out their 401ks just to buy basic necessities. You know, the country's in trouble.
and most people realize it. But yet our government comes out with these stupid job numbers and these stupid inflation numbers that nobody believes in the first place. And yet we're right back to where we were before. But the reason that I say we're going to see a CBDC very soon is because they want to reset all of this. They want to restart of everything. And even the people kind of want to reset as well. But they want it to be fair, and they definitely don't want to become a slave to the system through a CBDC and a digital ID and a social credit score. That's for sure. Don't think that the Fed will warn you when they will run the digital dollar on XRP Ledger so that you have time to buy and get on the train. Neither the BIS or IMF about any ongoing NDAs with Ripple. This news will be sudden. When the information comes out, it will already be too late. And most of you still believe that XRP will top out at $10. I think Ripple's been working with the Fed for years now. And I think a digital dollar is coming sooner than most people think. I mean, there's some politicians that are already noticing what's going on at the Fed. I just played a video recently in one of my videos showing you uh, Warren Davidson confronting that guy from the Fed about hiring people for coding around the CBDC. But, you know, XRP is absolutely going to skyrocket either way because it could fix the current system and it's going to drive the new financial system. So either way, we get rich. That's what it comes down to. But, you know, you with, th with this next election, it's going to be a crucial election because it could mean that we're going to see the rise of digital IDs, rise of a CBDC here in the United States. I mean, everybody has to put a lot of thought into who they're going to vote for if we do get to see an election. Because I'm not going to rule out that we're not going to see something catastrophic that will stop the 2024 elections either. Because anything is possible at this point. I mean, anytime you think this is the most shocking thing you've seen the government do, they always one up themselves. And that you see it time and time again. And now they're just blatantly in your face with it. You know, but we're crypto investors. I want to see crypto succeed. I'm hoping the right people get in there that want to push innovation ahead in this country. I want them to let crypto strive and grow throughout this country. I want us to become a crypto hub of the future. And, you know, a lot of what I said in this video today is my own opinions. And I'm always open to your opinions as well. Definitely put some comments in the comments section. But until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.